already freaking well told you, Mum. No acoustic guitar. Have you been writing on my trees again, Carruthers? So Spinulosa is a thin-leafed banksia with black styles. The leaves are alternate, linear and only about 5mm wide. Dark green on top, spiny teeth towards the end. It can regenerate from a seed bank after fire or can reshoot from epicormic buds or a lignite tuber underground. The genus Banksia is characterised by large inflorescences consisting of many individual flowers. The flowers are polyandrous and the answers shed their pollen prior to the flower opening on a specialised portion of the style called the pollen presenter. The pollen receptive stigma cells are located within a groove and do not attain peak receptivity until three days after flower opening, by which time the flower's own pollen has been removed by foraging fauna. Read the pollination biology and breeding system of Banksia spinulosa, Susan Mary Carthew University, Wollongong, 1991. Protandry refers to when pollen is shed prior to the stigma becoming receptive. Read Groom and Lamont Plant Life in Southwestern Australia. This is another heath plant, Bacchia imbricata, imbricate as in shingled. Flowers grow close up the stem, five to seven stamens. Corolla about five mils long, petals are circular. Likes growing in damp heath conditions. Flowers are born singly in leaf axils. Fruit is a two millimetre long oval capsule. Here's another plant that loves the wet. They are uh, rubioides. Flowers are on pedicels about 5 mil long. Usually 6 or 8 petals about 6 mil long. It's a tiny little flower. As you can see it's got a stack of stamens up to 30 or more. It has 6 to 8 sepals up to about 4 mil long. has toothed foliage up to about 15 mil long. He's another member of the Bossiaea genus. I've been reliably informed it's Stevensonia. Back at the flowers look like bloodshot eyes. Yes, well it was a big night. Endemic close to the coast in New South Wales. Look at those sexy stipules. Covered in fine hair. Leaves are alternate. Keel is dark red. Don't see a lot of this plant but it's pretty spectacular. Those big stipules really give this uh, species away. There's around 70 species of Bossiaea in Australia. They're an endemic, which means they only grow in Australia. And again, the backs of the flowers are as interesting as the front. Mm. 
Now for a change of pace. Short rhizomed perennial. Costus flexuosa. Grows in this chlorophyll forest on the sandy soil. In the same genus as Pentandra. Here's another plant in the citrus family, Rutaceae. This is Coria reflexa. Very particular about where it grows. Tubular flowers come in green or green and red. Has peculiar foliage. Margins recurved. Apex is kind of rounded. Leaves are lumpy and warty. It's got hairs all over the shop. Leaves are kind of sparse on uh, the stems. Great looking tubular flowers. Yellow anthers poking at the end bit. Leaves above the flowers look like two floppy dog's ears. This plant's in the family Goodenaceae. Purple or blue, one of the few blue plants I see. Damperia stricta, only grows about knee high. Never noticed how the yellow the calyx becomes. Another coastal heath plant, widespread in New South Wales. It's kind of sparse and thin. If this plant reminds you of Leshenoltia, it's because they're in the same family along with the genus Goodenia. The back of the flowers remind me of Scavola. Always make sure you come out bush and break a couple of trees in half. Yeah, fuck wait. Don't you love carnivorous plants? You gotta get your grits from somewhere, and you ain't gonna get it from this soil. Not all of it anyway. So you just start digesting the nearest bug. This is a very common drosera species. So it's a sundew plant, I suppose. It's August, so everything's purple. Hardenbergia, another tiny pea. 
stems to two meters long. This is growing in amongst the uh, escalentum. It's hard to tell which uh, foliage is which. Corolla about eight millimeters long. Leaves a narrow lanceolate. The nation prominently reticulate. The nation looks a bit like platyluvium. Flowers arranged in racemes. Has two yellowish spots. Regrows from its roots after fire. Here's another purple pea, Hovia linearis. These flowers are even smaller than the uh, Hardenbergia. In the Faboidea subfamily, obviously. My, what a hairy calyx you have. Linear leaves, hence the name, recurved with midrib. New South Wales coastal distribution. Grows on the crappy sandstone soil. Leaves up to 100 mils long and about 6 mils wide. The grid in the background is 10 mils square, so you can see how small it is. Okay, that's enough peas for a while. Pandoria pandorana. Oh, my hairy throat. It's a woody scrambler known as the Wonga Wonga vine. Kind of tubular flowers, white with purple botches. This plant's very specific in where it grows. I hardly see it at all. Flowers are bisexual and zygomorphic. Leaves are opposite.
abaxial surface a bit duller than the adaxial surface. Grandma Doily will swoon when she sees this. Well, hi there. You've caught me at a really busy time, actually. I've been commissioned to write a film script. It's a kind of road movie, really, entitled Take the Shot, Quentin. Of course, it's taking much longer than I thought it would take. I've been told to include a psychedelic dream sequence, 60s inspired, where Frank Thring, Sir Robert Helpman, and Quentin Crisp go pig shooting near Kunnamulla. Should be out next year. Look out for it. OK, back to the purple. Tetratheca ericifolia. Oh, my hespid calyx. This is one of a thousand plants called black-eyed Susan. Although here in New South Wales, we just call it the AVO bush. That's one hell of a family name. Leaves in wells of five. Not sure what's going on in the middle there. Black anthers? With openings in them? Toothed leaves. Finally, we have Tetratheca shirecii. An ascending to decumbent undershrub. grows mainly around the Sydney area and not much further. Sometimes can be found with a lot more foliage than this um, sparse uh, example. Red glabrous sepals look like confectionery. And to finish up, let's have a look at this snake. See if he can get his head back. Mm. It's beautiful. It's really gorgeous. I'll let him down. Yeah.